Well, I am really grateful to the National Guard and the Salem Fire Department and so many others who really have stepped up to make these mass vaccination sites possible. The energy at the mall in Salem, upbeat, almost electric on Tuesday, bright sunshine and lots of thumbs up from people leaving. But people are happy to be getting their vaccinations and we know how important it is to ramp up the numbers of shots in arms. New Hampshire Senate delegation upbeat as well. Senator Shaheen, one of the architects of the supplemental funding, after she cried foul on how the CDC calculated CARES Act allocations last December using city population size. The funding that's coming to our both cities and towns is going to come based mostly on a per capita basis. Um, some of the funding is going to go directly to those towns that qualify for community development block grants. Senator Shaheen says New Hampshire DHHS is the first recipient of the grant money. Accelerating vaccinations is the priority. Cover the costs of um, the sites that we need help with the cost of people who are actually administering the vaccinations. Flexibility is built in for local communities. And they're going to be able to use those for COVID related expenses, but also to replace revenues that they've lost because of COVID related expenses. The first 12 million was paid to New Hampshire today. The rest will come in installments starting in April. In Salem, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.